Hi everyone, it's May Brock from Trade and thank you for joining my live trading session where you're about to see me trade live and watch my PNA live. Pre-market time, market is about to open in just a few seconds and I'm looking at the overall trend of the S&P 500 and at some stocks which I already picked. So looking at the S&P, it's going to start down 0.07%, not much. Now take a look at the trend. The overall trend of the market is up recent months. This is the daily of the S&P. And then at July, mid-July, we came down the big move to the downside. However, we returned to the highs. We returned almost to the high of July um, 2024. As you can see, this could be a resistance point. Technically speaking, this is a resistance point. So is it a double top and we're going to start coming down or are we looking for a breakout over the highs, which I tend to believe we're going to see because the overall trend in the last few weeks is definitely very strong to the upside. Well, should be interesting. So the overall trend is up. Again, this is uh, I need to get into the mood of the market in order to understand where we may be going today. So I'm looking at some picks. Uh, pre-market picks, uh, market is open right now. Now this one is up 20% AMBA, uh, big gap up. So when, when, when you have such a big gap up, actually more than 3%, this one's up 20%, you look for a gap and go, which means a huge gap to the upside, which is what we're seeing here. And you look for a failure. At the beginning, you look for it to come down. So it starts with a big gap up, and then you look for a pullback, and then for a continuation where I may be going long. Now, ANF is down 11%, almost 12%. It's the same idea, but to the downside. Now, this one has a better volume, 900,000 shares. Started pre-market time. We're just in the first two minutes right now. And as you can see, a huge gap down and possibly pullback and then a continuation. The exact opposite of what I was looking for in AMBA. Same idea in FL. FL is down 9%. Same idea. Nice volume too. 790,000 shares right now. And the same idea. A big gap down and a continuation. However, this one did not pull back. So it does not give me my technical reversal. So I need it first to move up and then down. Now moving uh, to the S&P 500. I'm going to be watching it as usual in five minute candles. It's very, very important because you always need to follow the S&P 500. Now, when the stock is up or down 20%, you don't really mind that much about the S&P, but the S&P is going to influence everything in trading. Why? Because institutional traders are watching and moving according to the S&P 500 in five minute candles. And since the institutional traders are 80% of the volume, you need to be watching it in the same way as they do. Now, I'm starting to plan my trade in AMBA. I don't know if it's going to move up, but just in case it will move up, I should be starting right now to plan my trade. Uh, where would be my entry point? Where would be my stop loss point? So I'm thinking I should buy it at around 62 um, 40, maybe 60 to 50 or so. If it's going to move over 60 to 40, I think it's probably going to continue up. Stop loss could be at 60, 50. So 60, 70, I would say. So looking at around one and a half dollar stop loss. And next question is, how much am I willing to lose? I love it because it's up 20%, 16% right now. So it could be a huge gap and go. So I'll be taking a risk, but based on one and a half dollar stop loss, I'm going to move the size now to 1600 shares. So I'm be risking one and a half dollar, 1600, $2,500. Now taking a look at the S&P 500, um, it did move up earlier. Now it's not. Now it's coming down a little bit. Maybe I should favor shorting stocks. And I couldn't take FL. Look at FL. No pullback. It started down and continued down. However, ANF is getting interesting. Very interesting because as you can see, try to move up. You see this green candle over here failed and maybe coming down. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm planning my trade right now. Now, first question I'm asking myself is where's the highs? Um, and as you can see, it may bounce from the highs and move low. That's my plan. So I need to think about where my entry point, where my stop loss is going to be. Let's start with stop loss. The high is 148.50. Entry point could be... 146.60 or so. 
and uh, yeah this could be my entry point if it's going to break that it's probably going to come down you can see the lows here this is the level one screen and I can define everything there um, the volume highs lows I could add more data I don't need that but I'm mainly watching the, the spread between the buyers and the sellers and it looks like it's approximately 50 cents 146.94 147.50 around 50 cents I can't take that uh, risk uh, with a lot of size I love this tr potential trade but I need to reduce my size so I'm going to reduce my size to 1000 shares a spread and stop loss I don't want to take more than 1000 shares and this is in case it's going to come down under 146.60 and you can see right now it's playing in between now we don't see my time and sell but I do see the trades here we go about to get in okay trade wow I just shorted 1000 shares look at the breakdown look at this breakdown I did not expect it to be so quick I'm up $2,000 and I'm getting ready to cover 900 shares wow $3,600 getting ready to cover at any pullback $3,300 pullback now covering 100 shares left wow what a trade look at this breakdown this is absolutely amazing I did not expect to see it moving down that quick but again that's exactly the definition of a gap and go at the point of no return the point I assume it's going to be the point of no return it really did not return and it broke down really quick under the lows so look at where the low lies and um, this is amazing I'm left with uh, 100 shares you always leave something for a continued move look at my execution it was 145.98 I wanted to be executed somewhere under 146.60 uh, and um, well it came down very very quickly now look at the buyers and the sellers a little bit less actually bigger spread right now anyway I'm left with 100 shares look at the breakdown here this is absolutely amazing I did not expect to see that I covered $2,700 and I still have 100 shares uh, close to $400 so I'm up like $3,100 and in just what six seven minutes it's absolutely amazing now exactly the definition of a gap and go um, a big gap to the downside uh, trying to move higher failing coming down last 100 shares I hope it's going to continue this way today but I do have a great profit cushion right after seven minutes or so so this is really a great trade for me and again honestly I did not expect to see it moving down as quick as it is uh, now there's another interesting uh, point here uh, again let's go back and look at uh, the gap uh, the way it moved up and down but look at the volume too so the volume uh, before the breakdown 7,000 9,000 shares per one minute now take a look at what happens at the breakdown point it moved up to 267,000 shares so this one minute candle the breakdown candle was <laughs> amazing 267,000 shares what a breakdown so I did expect everyone to kind of start selling at that point this was amazing everything I've done was with the amazing platform of Colm Expo there's links below here in case you're interested in joining and opening an account but please remember trading is extremely dangerous extremely hard so please start with a demo don't risk your hard-earned money start with a demo if you feel safe enough you can maybe move to a real account please subscribe to this channel please hit the like button and thank you very much for joining and I'll see you in my next videos